it's shocking. It's sad. It's very dis disheartening. A night of fun turned traumatic for a Valley woman when she and her daughter came out of the movie theater in Queen Creek and found that her car was covered with profanity and racial slurs. Team 12's Adriana Loya spoke with a young mother and has tonight's big story. Kristen Morrell and her family have lived in Queen Creek for several years and has always felt safe until Wednesday night. Tears just started running down my eye. That was Kristen's reaction to this. Her SUV vandalized with racial slurs. The N-word, profanity, and the phrase, kill yourself, among the hateful messages written with Sharpie. The vandals also keyed her door. It's just shocking. It's just a numb feeling to think that somebody can say these type of hurtful words towards somebody, um, period. It happened while she and her four-year-old daughter were watching a movie at the Fat Cats Entertainment Center near Ellsworth and Riggs. I'm not sure what the purpose was on why they chose to do that. Clearly, they saw me to know that I was a black person. In a statement, a spokesperson from Fat Cat said they were saddened to hear of the incident, adding, our team acted appropriately in providing the guest an arcade card and requesting that they wait in the center while we contacted police. But Kristen says that's not what happened. They did not call the police for her. They did not send not one male employee out to uh, scan the, the parking lot. They didn't say, here's our break room. We're going to put you and your daughter in here because we don't know if the people still here or what their attentions are or if they're going to try to do anything else until the police gets here. And I know this was a horrible situation, but was it harder because your daughter was there with you? That right there has to be the most hurtful part is the fact that somebody so little had to see, you know, somebody write something so mean. She is calling for an overall look at how racial crimes are handled and hope to shed light on spreading love, not hate. Um, we need to be at a place to where we can be at peace and be, you know, nice to one another, cordial with one another. It doesn't have to lead to this road of somebody doing that to somebody. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says deputies were called here on scene, but were unable to look at a suspect at the time. They say a report was filed, but the incident is pending further investigation. In Queen Creek, Adriana Loya, 12 News.